Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on some of the tough V4s in the gym, starting with this blue one. All of the holds are jugs. There's this really bad undercling, and the rest of the holds are really far apart. And then, you finish by matching on the volume. I try going for a toe hook, and I find a good heel toe cam. However, I don't want to risk taking a fall from this height with my foot jammed between holds. So I think about another method. I commit to a big move with my left hand, and I'm able to touch the next hold. I switched my right hand to a three finger drag to give myself a little bit of extra length and I'm able to make a dynamic move and span the hole. The foot chips on the left felt really bad, so I ended up cutting feet. Luckily, the hand holds are really good and I'm able to send it. This was definitely one of the more mental boulders. Making big moves that high up can be scary, and you have to weigh the risks versus rewards. Now, I'll move on to this yellow V6 with cloud holds. There's a dynamic move to the big cloud where you have to cut feet and press into your hands to maintain tension. I tried to see if I could hold the end position of the move, but I didn't have any luck. This time, I'm able to make the move, but I can't get my feet up. Now I'll try this gray V6 with small flat crimps. It has a few big moves, and a part where you have to move out to an undercling and switch your other hand at the same time. And finally, you have to top out. The second move was far, and I couldn't figure out how to get over. I tried the rest of the climb, but I can't get the next move either. This time, I tried getting high feet to see if I can get the next move.
I decided to move on to this purple V6 that starts with a big move to a jug, then has hard moves to small flat holds. Unfortunately, the right foothold is slippery and I keep losing my feet. I almost stick the next hold though. I try to drop knee, but I end up falling. I decide to move on to this pink V4 Traverse. It has a lot of good side pulls, but the feet on the left are small and slopey, and the leftmost volume feels sketchy. It also goes in both directions. For now, I'll try going from right to left. I have trouble trusting the sketchy volume while moving my hands. I figure out that I can keep my right foot on the good volume and move my right hand over. I mess up a foot swap and end up falling. This time, I try stepping through and it feels a lot better. Unfortunately, I can't figure out how to match on the last hold. This time, I try going from left to right. I think it's actually easier going this way because of the orientation of the holds and an easier match at the end. The beginning is a little tough because of the small footholds. I decide to try the rest of the climb from here. able to do the second half.
This time, I'm able to figure out the beginning. Finally, I'm able to send the boulder. I think the small footholds and sketchy volume really exposed how bad my footwork is. But that's going to be the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!